Hey guys, I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to another video. And today, I've got a match day vlog for you guys. And today, Chelsea are playing against Burnley. So, it's pretty much the uh, the first week of the set of fixtures have come since the international break. Not really much to talk about with, in terms of the international games. But now club football is back and it's kicking off. So, it seems now we're pretty much heading towards near the um, near the end of the season. So there's a pretty much some games that Chelsea can have to really climb themselves up the table, potentially getting at least a European position. And I think today is a game that really takes that opportunity. Now, Burnley are in the, uh, the relegation zone, but I think if they could do get a result or get a win, it would pretty much boost their survival hopes a little bit because I think Nottingham Forest were hit with points deduction, so it does narrow the gap within the relegation zone. But... I think, in terms of the expectations of the game, I think Chelsea do seem the odds-on favourites for this one, just based on how the form of the two teams are. But knowing Chelsea, sometimes with games, you you can never predict anything can happen now. So, you know, sometimes the players can really turn up and put a good performance in, but then we might get, have one of those games where we just fail to take the chances, fail to hit the back of the net, and then somehow we will end up with a shock result. So it seems that this game could could go each way. I mean, mo most of the time I would say Chelsea do look like the clear favourites for it. But like I said, I don't think there's any clear favourites in terms of when you predict how Chelsea will play. So it seems like a good opportunity to pick some points, climb up the table, and just really just, um, you know, getting some momentum till the end of the the season we've got a few Premier League games we also got an FA Cup semi-final to look forward to so I think now is the time to really sort of get the support going and really um you know get the players um and get the players motivated and just keep keep um you know supporting the team you know I mean obviously the last game against Leicester there was a bit of animosity towards the manager and his decision making and certain players as well I think we have to kind of put that behind us and, you know, hopefully with these next set of fixtures, we could really sort of pick the form going because I think that's going to be important and beneficial for the club. So, yeah, looking forward to this game. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy the vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you want to dislike. And, yeah, see you later.
Pretty nervous. Just kind of losing the ball and stop the areas. So, yeah, nervy game now. Pressure after Burnley were getting some good bits of play, but it's one nil to Chelsea. Come on! The 
you, y'all. Come on. It's also a red car for a Burnley player, I don't know who it is, but they're now down to 10 men. So yeah, it's a good opportunity to take a lead. I think the only thing they're going to be judging is whether it's a foul or not. I think if he goes to the monitor, he's going to check it. No, he's giving it. Side now, so is it going to be a penalty? Come on. Okay guys, so it's half time, it's Chelsea 1, Burnley 0 and I think it was a, from the beginning of the match I have to say we were very nervous. I think Burnley had a few chances coming in our own half, they were creating the spaces but the end product wasn't there. But then we kind of picked up the chances a bit, we had a goal just that was offside and then we got a penalty, long VAR check but then Cole Palmer dispatches it very well. 
very, very good penalty. I'm not really sure how Fernandes go, but that was a really good one. Okay, and that's pretty much the difference now. So, yeah, hopefully the second half will be better. And see you later. Well, really awful start to the second half. I have to say, you go give credit to the finish, man, because that was a really good finish. Uh, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Well, certainly the second half, I don't know what the team talk is, but Burnley, Burnley are certainly playing better than us in that second half. We should be wary if they get another goal. It took a while to get a moment, but we scored again. Paul Palmer again. Really, really cool finish. Placed it perfectly. 2 1. Come on. We are looking at it because I'm blind. Wow, we really can't hold leads, man. So poor defensively. He did get a free header, but. I mean, to be fair. No, no, it was too close. But to be fair, they've, they've been playing well throughout the game, so you couldn't really be surprised. So, yeah. Oh. Come on! Alright guys, so I just came home now and I finished Chelsea 2, Burnley 2. Now, 
I would like to give Burnley a lot of credit for the performance, especially playing the game throughout with 10 men. I kind of forgot they even had 10 men, to be honest with you, because they they really gave us a good fight. So, you know, especially in the second half, they were definitely the better side. And I think for them, the draw was a fair result. And probably judging for them as well, it seems that it's going to potentially help boost their chances for a survival hopes, really. So... It it would seem like a very good result for them. Um, they could have easily have also won the game as well. I think when Jay Rodriguez hit had his header hitting the crossbar, that was a very um, alarming. And it seems that they were very clinical in taking their chances. So, you know, you gotta give Burnley a lot of credit for the performance. Um, and I'm gonna kind of move on to us again. Us now, Chelsea today were very very slow. I don't know what it is when it comes to these games, but we just don't really have... We don't. We really don't make games look convincing. You know, Pochettino said that really with Chelsea, if they were taking the chances and, you know, the way we were playing, we should be fourth. I'll tell you, the way we're playing, you know, the only place we'll be fourth is in the bottom half. I mean, I don't really think there was really much fight from the team. Um, really, the only standout I could really say was Cole Palmer. I mean, he was really good. Um, his penalty was great. Um, there is some debate around that, but we had the penalty. It was a greatly taken penalty, and his finish was really superb as well. And I think he really stood out today. Um, apart from that, I can't really look at any positives from that performance, to be honest with you. It's, a very again, taking the chances, final third, we just are not convincing in that area. So really a lot of work has to be done. Um, but we are still about... I think for us, about 10 games left of the season. We really just got to finish it off and just see where we really finish in the league. Because I don't, judging that performance today, I don't really have a whole lot of confidence. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the match and what you thought of the vlog. Please like, comment, subscribe, dislike if you want to dislike. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, that's about it. See you later.